Welcome to What in the World. I'm Ricardo Aguilar. Catherine Smith could not be with us here this week, but we'll still give you the news from the strange to the unconventional. Let's get started with our first three stories for today. A goat named Lincoln has been elected as the new honorary pet mayor of Fairhaven, Vermont. The goat was chosen out of 16 other animals, winning with 13 votes against dogs, cats, and gerbils. Lincoln is now expected to attend local events, such as marching in the Memorial Day Parade. The idea was inspired by Omena, Michigan, and their cat mayor, Sweet Tart McKee. The town does not have a human mayor in office. Around 1,500 smuggled turtles were found alive in some abandoned luggage in the Manila airport in the Philippines. The turtles were wrapped in duct tape and were of various species, such as red-eared sliders, star tortoises, and socata tortoises. All turtles were worth about $86,000. It is suspected the smuggler got cold feet after considering the punishments if caught. The turtles have been relocated to a monitoring unit for safekeeping. A man in Florida was recently six, sentenced to 60 days in jail after attacking a McDonald's worker over a straw. The initial incident took place during New Year's Eve, where the man screamed and attacked the worker after they could not find a straw, with everything being caught on camera. The man is now also subject to a mental evaluation, as well as owing $1,000 in fines or 120 hours of community service. He is also told to stay away from the restaurant and the workers hired there. We'll be, taking a short, quick, we'll be taking a short break. Stay tuned. What does it mean to be a Warhawk? It means allowing myself to dream big and think outside the box. Pushing the limits of what I think is possible Seeing ideas through from start to finish. Collaborating with professors and peers. And seizing opportunities in the community to put my knowledge to use. I'm studying abroad, learning another language, and listening to the stories of others. I'm making lifelong friends and fearlessly sharing my gifts with the world. As a Warhawk, I stay balanced, take great care of myself, and get out of my comfort zone. I refuse to let the past determine my future. And I'm taking confident steps in the direction of my dreams. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. And other times it couldn't be more exciting. But I will keep my goals in mind and never quit. Because that, that's the Warhawk way. At the University Bookstore, we have an excellent selection of competitively priced books and classroom necessities for students. We have Warhawk gear, ranging from athletic apparel to comfy sweatshirts the whole family can enjoy. The textbook rental service is also available for students to check out their required readings for class. You can also find and order books, apparel, and gift items from our online catalog, located at uwwhitewaterbookstore.com. The University Bookstore, we provide for your college experiences. Welcome to the University Bookstore. The University Bookstore provides students with the opportunity to purchase apparel, gift items, textbooks, snacks, supplies, and other necessities right here on campus. The bookstore is also home to textbook rental where you can find many of your required textbooks. Our friendly staff always goes the extra mile to provide customers with a quick and pleasant experience. Visit the bookstore today to find great deals on everything you need to succeed as a Warhawk. Whether you live on campus or commute, University of Wisconsin Whitewater's 13 dining locations offer many benefits while working for dining services. From meal prepping, catering events, to working alongside others, dining services are flexible with hours, customer focus, and offers management advancement. University of Wisconsin Whitewater's dining services, where coworkers learn to work together in a friendly environment. To work for dining services, contact campus-dining.com slash UWW or stop by one of the 13 locations to get your application today.
the UC can get you connected to all your basic needs. Grab a coffee and a meal. Study by the fireplace. Bowl, play, and relax when you want a break from homework. The UC has much more to offer to Whitewater students. Go to the UC's website to see what's going on this week. A stray dog named Mara recently befriended an expedition team in the Himalaya Mountains, potentially being the first dog to reach the Barun summit. The team met Mara while heading to Barunz, and for the next three weeks, they soon began to appreciate her climbing abilities. One member said that Mara brought luck to the expedition. Mara has now been adopted by the base camp manager, currently living in Kathmandu. A man from South Africa was almost swallowed by a bride's whale during a recording of a sardine run. While snorkeling on the water's surface, the whale engulfed him headfirst, but shortly after, the man was spat out. A bride's well has the potential to grow up to 55 feet long and weigh up to 30 tons. The diver sustained no injuries and was back in the water minutes later. The man was more concerned about being pulled into the ocean and the sharks that come with sardine runs. A man in Phoenix, Arizona recently broke into an apartment and started making tortillas and eating soup. The residents of the apartment smelled something burning and soon found the trespasser making tortillas on top of a stove burner. The two roommates yelled for the man to leave, and soon he went onto the balcony to enjoy a can of soup. The man had been drinking and could not remember how he got there. It's possible that the front door was left unlocked by accident. A Florida man is accused of throwing Molotov cocktails at his impounded car. The man came to pay the towing fee for his vehicle, and when the owner of the auto shop finally arrived, the man was no longer there. In his place was the impounded car, now on fire. The flames were put out before the Orange County Fire Rescue arrived, and no one was injured. The man has been charged with arson and manufacturing and transporting a firebomb. We'll be right back with some more strange stories. Stay tuned. Army ROTC cadet at Whitewater, you have the opportunity to develop into a great leader while learning and applying the Army values to your everyday life. Within ROTC, you have the chance to travel overseas in the CULP program to train with other militaries, attend many elite Army schools such as Airborne and Combat Diver, and you have the opportunity to attend conferences and guest lectures by some of the Army's top-ranking officers. Our Warhawk cadets participate in many extracurricular activities, Division III sports, Greek life, intramural sports, among many other team building and community service events. Being a cadet at Whitewater is more than just being part of the Army. It's also about being active members in our community and coming together to form a family atmosphere. Anyone who wants to be a part of something bigger than themselves while developing themselves professionally should consider UW-Whitewater ROTC. To sign up for UW-Whitewater ROTC, go to the fourth floor of McCutcheon Hall to room 417. Peace, education, activism, through creative engagement. Peace is a nonpartisan organization that promotes peaceful resolutions to university and worldwide conflicts. We raise awareness on issues regarding environmental rights, social equality, and political justice. Every month, we show a documentary in the Summer's Auditorium. You can learn and have fun doing it. Peace. Be the change you see in the world. Here at UWW, we put a lot of emphasis on shaping your involvement. Involvement helps you get to know more people with similar values and goals as yourself. The Student Involvement Office can help you get involved with organizations on campus, or we can help you start a brand new one. So what are you waiting for? It's time to shape your involvement at UWW. If you'd like to learn more, stop by UC 127 or contact us at involvement at uww.edu or call 262-472-6217. Here at UW-Whitewater Intramural Sports, we have a motto, a sport for everyone and everyone in a sport. Come on. Come on. 
it anyways. Oh, oh, she oh, it. oh, oh. they're going to count it. Had a blast. Always have fun at intramurals. Every day we strive to go above and beyond that goal by providing healthy exercise, promoting leisure education, and giving students that competitive atmosphere they are looking for. Yes! 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 It's exciting. Brings me back to those uh, high school days with Friday Night Lights. With our 25 different intramural sports offered, we guarantee that we have a sport for you. Go to our website and find your sport today. After 50 years, a man finally received a congratulatory telegram for graduating from the University of Michigan. The letter was sent the day after the man moved out of his apartment and has been sitting inside a filing cabinet for all these years. The cabinet was owned by a company that received it secondhand, and one of the workers tracked down the original recipient where he finally received the letter. The man reflected on his old connections after reading the message. It really does pay off to read the fine print. A Georgia high school teacher recently won $10,000 for reading the fine print in a policy she purchased. The Florida Travel Insurance Company started the secret contest in February and promised the prize money to the first person that sent them an email to a specific address. The company also plans to give $10,000 to a children's literacy charity and $5,000 to each of the two schools where the teacher taught consumer economics. The teacher plans to use the prize money to a trip to Scotland with her husband for their wedding anniversary. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on What in the World.